All right, hi guys. I feel like I've had enough of social media. I love social media, like don't get me wrong, but I woke up today and I was like, I feel like I'm living through my phone because of social media. I'm just like, I don't even know what life is like without social media because I've been on social media for so many years i've just been on social media all the time like i haven't gone one day without being on social media in probably almost 10 years so i was like i think it's time for a social media detox i just feel like i'm either always filming capturing my life through a camera which i love i love having all these memories to look back at but you're never gonna be like fully in the moment when you were trying to like focus on getting good content or footage or if i'm not filming i'm just on my phone like i have my phone in my hand and i'm like scrolling through social media or just being on an app so starting today i'm gonna do a social media detox and just quit being on social media all the time so i thought i would vlog that little process which is kind of ironic because i'm vlogging my experience with not being on social media and putting that up on social media but honestly i don't really count being on youtube as social media i know youtube counts as social media but at least i don't really consume youtube videos for hours like i get it if you're constantly scrolling through youtube shorts but i barely watch youtube shorts i'm only on youtube for a long form video and then i watch like one or two videos so yeah i think you can definitely make the rules for a social media detox by yourself like some people would probably say it's cheating if if you want to delete all your social media apps except like twitter or i don't know if anyone's using twitter still but or like pinterest but i mean only you know what works for yourself and a really good tip for checking like what social media apps you spend the most time on is just going to your screen time so here it says like what apps used the most so as you can see my most used apps are tiktok and snapchat i was on tiktok for 10 hours and 6 minutes last week and snapchat 5 hours which is like actually crazy because if you think about it 10 hours obviously sounds like a lot and now i'm like why did i spend 10 hours on tiktok last week like i could have spent 10 hours doing something so much more productive i could have easily finished a book in 10 hours like i could have finished multiple books i could have studied for 10 more hours but it's like looking back at it it's kind of obvious i spent a lot of time on social media but if you divide 10 hours by seven days that is 1.4 hours per day which is honestly like not unrealistic but that is like the habit we gotta stop so honestly one reason i'm doing this is because i feel like i'm constantly just connected to my devices like i'm either on my macbook or i'm on my phone i feel like i'm not spending enough time with my puppy or if i'm spending time with her i'm just still on my device and and I'm not like being there fully with her. I feel like maybe parents could relate to this. Did I stop being on my phone and just play with you? <laughs> yeah, she gave me a kiss. Like you can tell she gets so happy when I'm actually like interacting with her and just not being on my phone all the time. But yeah, I think probably parents could definitely relate to this. Like trying to be more intentional with spending time with their kids. And I obviously don't have kids, but I do have a little puppy baby. So, and also work on relationships with my friends outside of social media. So yeah, that's kind of my motivation for doing this. I had a goal for 2024 to decrease my screen time. And that obviously hasn't happened yet. I'm literally averaging eight hours of screen time per day. So yeah, we just gotta do something about that. I literally turned off my camera. And what am I doing? I'm going on 
snapchat i didn't even notice this is how bad my social media addiction is we have to set up our social media settings like app limits and honestly this is the easy part because as you can see i already have a limit for snapchat and tiktok and instagram for 10 minutes but the hard part is actually following through like it is so easy to just press ignore limit i feel like they should actually remove this option so if you want to still go on this app you have to go into settings and remove the time limit but i have deleted instagram from my phone and this is something that has actually been working really well and i thought it would be kind of the same thing as putting up an app limit like if i deleted the app i'm just gonna go to the app store and re-download it when i want to use it and it's not gonna have any effect on my screen time but i actually haven't even felt tempted to go and download instagram ever since i deleted the app i think i re-downloaded it one time and this was like a week ago and then i scrolled for two minutes and i was like wait i'm not even enjoying scrolling on instagram anymore which is actually really cool because i used to go on instagram and be scrolling for like any time i was bored all right so this is gonna be my first challenge of the day i'm gonna try to get through a work session without even picking up my phone honestly the best way would probably be to just put away my phone somewhere but i don't want to put it way too far in case my boyfriend calls me because he is out right now buying me breakfast honestly let's just put it in focus mode just been studying a little bit i feel like i just need a little break and usually i would go on my phone but i know if i go on my phone i'm gonna end up scrolling for like 20 minutes so this is what i'm gonna be doing with my little study break instead of going on my phone not sleep by the way i'm gonna make the bed Think now that I'm about to go back to my work, it's not that hard to gain focus again and actually get back into it because you know when you are scrolling on social media and you don't want to stop, especially to stop for doing like a boring task like doing schoolwork, I feel like this is one of the best benefits. You can actually take a break from studying for five minutes and then just like get right back to it. guys it is now 4 p.m and i've been so focused i got so much studying done and i was even so focused that i forgot i had a laundry time booked so i'm gonna go down and do that right now but yeah so far i'm loving not being on social media So it is now almost 8 40 p.m. So I thought I would check how much I used my phone today I mean, it says I used it for two hours and 50 minutes But I put on a timer for like an hour and I think it's counting my timer because if you look at the apps My most used app was Safari and I only used it for 16 minutes and then I used Snapchat for 15 minutes TikTok for 10 minutes like I didn't use any apps for 
very long. I only used them for like three, four minutes. So I don't know why it's saying two hours and 50 minutes. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. Point is, I feel so much better not having just used my phone all day. But right now is probably the time when I would like pick up my phone and use it the most because I'm done with all my work and I'm home alone right now so or I'm with the dogs they're kind of just chilling right now so right now is probably the time when I would just pick up my phone and scroll TikTok for like an hour but I'm gonna choose something else to do uh, something more productive so I'm gonna do my little night skincare routine and usually I don't have time for this like I slack on doing my skincare every Every night. I just feel like I don't have time, but in reality, I'm like on TikTok for an hour or more every night, just like on my phone, and then I end up being too tired to do my skincare. But now that I'm not on my phone, I feel like I have no excuse. I'm gonna try to finish this cleansing cream. This is not the cleanser I usually do, and I feel like I have to finish it. And also, this one is really good because it kind of moisturizes your skin, but also cleansing it. It's just like a moisturizer, but if it's a cleanser. I'm gonna pick out a book to read. To be honest, I've really been slacking with reading. I don't even remember what my goal was for 2024, but I think it was to read like a little bit every day. I definitely have not read every day, which I think has partly to do with me being on my phone instead of reading. So I feel like I don't have time to actually sit down and read a book. But I mean, we all just saw the proof. I do spend 10 hours on TikTok in a week so i definitely do have time for reading if i wanted to so i'm gonna pick out a book here okay so i picked out this book it's called think again so yeah let's start reading all right so i just finished reading a little bit it's currently 9 20 and i think i'm gonna try to head to bed really early tonight my usual bedtime is like 11 or 12 but instead of going to bed at midnight i'm gonna try to get to sleep by 10 and then i can hopefully wake up a bit earlier tomorrow so yeah but it has been a really nice day i will definitely continue this little social media detox i think it's actually working really well to still be on tiktok and snapchat but only use it for like 10 or 15 minutes every day but delete instagram because i feel like instagram isn't really serving me any purpose i want to keep snapchat because i have been talking to a lot of my friends today on snapchat and then tiktok i don't think tiktok is bad as long as you're not scrolling for like hours and letting it consume you but i feel like you can actually get some like really good ideas and inspiration from tiktok it kind of just depends on what you consume and like how much you consume of that but yeah that is just what's working for me personally but yeah thank you for watching this little vlog and i will see you next time <laughs>